My name is Prem My name is Adeze Oli. My name is Mama Princess Sai. My name is Vivian I'm the financial aunt. I'm 14 years old. I'm the app designer based that that developed the interface. I'm the PR. My name is Jessica Kosa. My name is Uchenda. Mommy, I am the mentor for the girls that you will be saving so far. We created this app, FD Tech so that we'll be able to eradicate the problem which is fake drugs. Because we have seen in our society, especially this furniture, that there are many manufacturers of these fake drugs. I've been working with girls, mentoring girls to get them involved in STEM education. Actually, it was my team member that came up with that idea of dictating a fake drug. I was brainstorming, I was researching. If they are the person in my brain, then you get to see that my brain was very good. I was like, what am I going to do? Our mentors will come to the school and they will tutor us on things that we need to know. Our mentors are Mrs. Uche, Owami Boku, and Sa, so you can start. It came to me as an accident because uh, I, I didn't know what it is or, or in the in initial stage. But I met um, one of my travels abroad, I met a couple of uh, children working on uh, robotics and uh, electronics materials and I got angry and scared at the same time that at my adult life I've not met or seen something like this. I thought it's something you only see in the movies. So I found out about it and I brought it back to my community. So I felt like we should have uh, every child, every girl, every boy should have an opportunity to experience STEM education in the classroom. Uh, before leaving the class, they should have access to materials that can help uh, equip them to make uh, good career decisions. They should also know about technology at a very early age. When I got introduced to technology, especially STEM ed education, was August last year, which is August 2017, when a program was organized in the school by Mrs. Uche on one day. My friends, they didn't want me to come for the lectures but I was crying and I was begging them. They said okay that I can go. It was then that I was exposed to computers, especially to computer technology. Because of my passion to um, in STEM education and bringing it to the classroom, I had the idea that uh, Technovision is going to start another program for the year 2018. So I signed up as a mentor and I brought the program to one of the schools that I teach and I told the girls to join the program is going to be free of charge and I'll devote my time three times a week three hours per day to teach them and to mentor them I was excited that they are going to learn new things things that I've not taught them before I was excited that they are going to get exposure they will learn how to pitch I was excited to expose them to this kind of technology so we started our program in January till the end, till May, when we went to the regional pitch. So, a few of the girls dropped out, they were discouraged by friends, but the ones that were persistent eventually um, qualified to go to Abuja for the regional pitch. Um, mentoring them to this level, we, had, we encountered a lot of challenges. First of all, the, the girls are in boarding school, so we have to come and meet them anytime. They can't come out, but we are always here to teach them. We also had challenges to explain to their teachers what uh, Technovation is all about and if they can give them some extra time to learn new things. So we have to do it in a reading place because at times some teachers are chasing us around. We are friends. We are also teasing them about the innovation. I mean, what are you doing in that place? What do you want to achieve there? We don't have to be there. But these girls, we are also encouraging because they persisted. We are going to partner with NAVDA. How possible is that? It's very possible. We are optimistic. We are very hopeful that now that is going to willingly partner with us. They are going to help us with how to improve this app more because without them, we cannot uh, do much on the pharmaceutical industry and we will not have access to them. So 
We are hopeful that with the help of uh, government officials, with the help of individuals, with the help of uh, philanthropists in Nigeria that wants change, that they are going to allow us and give us the support that we need for this partnership.